Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. This lab guide is on how to configure company branding in Microsoft Entra ID for sign-in experiences for your users. You can add company branding that applies to all these sign-in experiences to create consistent experience for your users. Adding custom branding requires you to have either the Microsoft Entra ID Premium P1, Premium P2 or Office 365 license. The global administrator role is required to customize company branding. Sign in to the Microsoft Entra Admin Center using our global administrator account for the directory. Search for company branding. From the result, select company branding. From here, you can configure company branding for Microsoft Entra ID. If you are using Azure portal, click on View and Manage Active Directory. Remember, Azure Active Directory is being renamed as Microsoft Entra ID. On left side, under Manage, click on Company Branding. Here, you have the same option as Entra Admin Center to configure company branding. It's up to you which option you pick. As Microsoft is promoting Entra Admin Center, I'll use Entra Admin Center to configure company branding. Under Default Sign-in Experience, click on Customize. To configure the new company branding experience, five simple steps are required. The important part is to get the images and icons in the right size and format. At the end of each step, select the Review plus Create button to review what you have selected and submit your changes or click on the Next button to move to the next section. In the basic step, you can configure Favicon, Background Image and you will see an Edit button for Page Background Color. This is where your Favicon logo will appear in the web browser tab. Already image size and file size is mentioned. Click and browse to select a PNG or JPG of your Favicon logo. Next, select the background image to display as the main image on your sign-in page. This image scales and crops according to the window size but may be partially blocked by the sign-in prompt. Click on Browse to select a PNG or JPG of your background image. If the background image isn't able to load because of a slower connection, your selected background color appears instead. I'll keep background color to default. You can change it as you like. Click on Next to move to Layout tab. In this section, you can customize the layout of your sign-in page using templates or custom CSS. Here, you can configure layout that allows you to specify the placement of web page elements on the sign-in page. If you want to enhance a sign-in experience, you need to opt for a show header from this section. The details of the header and footer options are set on the next two sections of the process. You can also upload custom CSS to replace the Microsoft default style of the web page. Click on Next to move to the header section. Click on Browse to select a PNG or JPG to display in the header of the sign-in page. Click on Next to move to footer section. Show privacy and cookies option is selected by default and displays the Microsoft Privacy and Cookies link. Uncheck this option if you want to hide the default Microsoft link. Optionally, provide your own display text and URL. The text and links don't have to be related to privacy and cookies. Show Terms of Use option is also selected by default and displays the Microsoft Terms of Use link. Uncheck this option if you want to hide the default Microsoft link. Optionally, provide your own display text and URL. The text 
and links don't have to be related to your terms of use. Click next to move to the next section. Click on browse to select a PNG and JPG image file of a banner size logo to appear on the sign in page. Click on browse to select a square PNG or JPG image file of your logo to be used in browsers that are using a light color theme. Again, click on browse to select a square PNG or JPG image file of your logo to be used in browsers that are using a dark color theme. This logo is used to represent your organization on the Microsoft Entra ID web interface and in Windows. If your logo looks good on light and dark backgrounds, there is no need to add a dark theme logo. Enter hint text for the username input field on the sign-in page. If guest users are also using the same sign-in page, I don't recommend using a hint text here. You can use this text to communicate additional information such as the phone number to your help desk or a legal statement. This page is public so don't provide sensitive information here. This text must be Unicode and can't exceed 1024 characters. Here you can also set up custom self-service password reset hyperlink that allows you to show, hide or customize the self-service password reset link on the sign-in page. Click next to move to a review section. All of the available options appear in one list so you can review everything you have customized or left at the default setting. When you are done, select create button. Once your default sign-in experience is created, select the edit button to make any changes. You can't delete a default sign-in experience after it is created but you can remove all custom settings. After you have created the custom branding, you can access the page by visiting https portal.azure.com slash your domain name. Let's open new in private to window. Type URL as portal.azure.com slash mbnlab.onmicrosoft.com. This is our domain name. Press enter key to continue. This time login page is different. You can see the background image is changed, so does the login page. Here is how you may experience the page based on your defined customization for company branding. In this lab guide, you will learn how to configure company branding in Microsoft Entra ID. That's all for this lab guide. Stay tuned for more videos like this. See you all in the next lab guide.